Today I'm going to teach you another lesson from the elephant, but also from a little boy as well. Have you ever heard of Rochanga Padaiti? He was an Indian boy. He was from the Hama tribe in India. And a missionary came to their part of India and his dad heard the missionary preach and his dad became a Christian. But um, they didn't have the Bible in their own language. So Rochanga, he had to go to school to learn to read and write. And when he was older, he was the one who translated the Bible into um, their language. But to get to school, he had to go on a long way. He had to go a long way. When I was a child, I was homeschooled. I didn't have to go anywhere to go to school. I got to stay at home. And now my children go to school. It's just the next road over, so it's very close. But Rochanga, he had to go on a big journey to get to his school. He had to go through the jungle by himself. And it was dangerous. There was a tiger in the jungle. There were big snakes in the jungle that could just drop down on you and could swallow you. Um, and there were also elephants can be very dangerous. Elephants are very big and they have big strong trunks and they can hurt you or even kill you. And so his dad was preparing him to go into on his journey to school. And his dad told him, if an elephant, a big strong elephant is ever chasing you, you run straight ahead, then you turn quickly to the right, run straight ahead, turn quickly to the right, run straight ahead, turn quickly to the right. If you do that four times, you'll be back on your tr back on track again, and then you can just keep going. And the boy said, but the elephant could smash me with his trunk. And his dad said that elephants are left-handed. They can't turn quickly to the right. If they do, they'll fall over. And then, because they're so big, it takes them a long time to get up again. And the dad said, you'll be far away by then. And the dad also told Rochanga, the devil is like the big elephant. The devil's also left-handed. And when we're tempted to do what's wrong, we need to do what is right. But also, we don't have, we're not strong enough to do what's right ourselves. We need to go to Jesus. We need Jesus' strength and help to help us do what's right. Just like that boy would turn to the right and then turn to the right again. When we're tempted to do what's wrong, we need to do what's right. But we need to trust in Jesus to help us. We need to pray and ask God for his strength and for his help. And you know, when Jesus was tempted, even Jesus was tempted by Satan, um, Jesus three times he told Satan, it is written. So he remembered what the Bible said. And when we're tempted to do what's wrong, we also we need to pray. We also need to remember what the Bible says. And that can help us to do what is right.